Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back, welcome back. I know it has been a while, but I've been busy. Being proactive, living life. But that is something I want to talk about today. Uh, as you can see with the title of this, I don't really actually know the title of this. I'm kind of working on, I mean, I'm, I'm in between a few titles uh, currently, you know, just, just throwing something against the wall to see what sticks. But um, I know it's been a while since my last upload. And that's because I have been working diligently on actually building my business and not necessarily working, spending more time on talking about building my business. And that's what this episode of Doing Business with Mark Randall is gonna be about today. It's gonna to be talking all about getting lost in the talk, in the, in the, in the planning, in the thinking, the strategizing, um, the blog post reading, the audiobook listening, the podcast subscribing world of building your business and how like just investing so much into what you should do and how you're going to do it and the best way to pull it off can actually get in the way of actually building your business. So uh, yeah, let's get into it. As always, I, I stay with my... Oh. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I guess I'm not as uh, not as honed in as I used to be. Some things have changed up. I've ditched the mic. I am now using these trusty Rode Wireless guys. This is kind of an eyesore for anyone who's checking this out on the audio feed. But, you know, hopefully it's not too bad. Hopefully it's not too distracting for you. Um, before we get into this with the trusty notebook, I got it back. Um, how have you been? How has things been? Let me know what's been going on with you. So much has been going on with me. The entrepreneur life for all my LLC Twitter fans out there, it's it's definitely um, it's definitely a journey. I remember I used to see a lot of posts of people claiming how lonely um, the entrepreneur life is. And it truly is. I was just talking to my wife the other day and I was saying how I miss coworkers. You know, even if um, you like them or dislike them. There's like a camaraderie that you guys build um, working together, you know, and kind of like in the crap of it all. So yeah, it's, it's definitely been an, an, an interesting uh, few months. I forget what my, ass, my last actual upload was, but I feel like it's definitely been a few weeks and a lot has happened in that time. But without further ado, I would like to get into this topic at hand, um, talking about doing about business and not necessarily working on your business. Um, point number one, talking about your business is so much easier than actually getting on the phone, getting on your computer, getting behind your camera and actually doing business. Um, talking about it, it's it's a it's a very passive way to build a business where um, actually getting out there and creating deals and getting contracts in order. It's a very contact sport. Like you have to you have to talk to people. You have to um, you have to pitch. You have to have ideas that are worthwhile. If your ideas can't make people money, then what are you in business to do? Like, how are you benefiting? How are you helping anyone? Um, and it, it, it is, it is, it is a pretty difficult thing to, to line up the, depending on what your business is. So I found myself, um, a couple months ago, um, a couple weeks ago, just really like talking a lot and spending a lot of my time, um, creating content around building my business and talking about the steps that I was going to take to build up my business and really just like diving into like just so much um, outside education, if you will, like just between the podcasts, the books and granted, I got some great information from everything that I consumed over the last um, six or so, six or seven months of me on this entrepreneurial journey. And I can honestly say that I have yet, I don't feel like my time has been wasted, 
but I do feel like my time has been slightly um, directed in like the wrong location. Um, I think that it's, it's very, it's very easy to read a book and listen to a podcast and watch videos and then to talk about books, to have a podcast which I have right now and to speak on video, which I'm currently doing about your business. It's, it is very, very easy to do that instead of getting that rejection, you know, like putting proposals together, um, proofreading proposals, sending them out to clients and clients ghosting you. Um, you know, and you start to wonder like, am I, am, am I good at this? And then next thing you know, you're creeping through indeed seeing what job openings they have available. And there are moments like that, you know, it just, it, it's just part of the journey. You know, you're, you're going to, you're, you're going to doubt yourself. You're going to doubt, you know, if this is really for you. And I can't answer that question for you. That's definitely something you're going to have to answer for yourself. Um, but I think if you go out there and if you take the right amount of information, digest it, act upon it and get results, you'll know how to craft what you're selling to the people that you're selling it to, to be successful. And that sounds simple because it is, but it's extremely difficult to get out of your own way and to do that, there's a lot of fear there that even as an entrepreneur who has made money from, you know, their, their, their thoughts and ideas, there's, there's moments when you do question things. Like they say, you're only as hot as your last album. Um, in entrepreneurship, you know, you're only as paid as your last deal. So if there's no more deals coming through, you're out of business, baby. All right. Number two on the trusted list here. Talking about your business feels like you're working on your business. It is intoxicating. Oh, does it feel good? If, if, if your business was a person, talking about your business would be ecstasy. You know, it would be, it would be a drug that just hits so good and it just keeps it all going. When you're like building content and you're spending so much time building up your business without actually building your business it makes you feel like you're actually kind of building your business but you're not you're not building your business you're talking about building your business it feels like you're building up your business but you're not building up your business in the ideal world and we'll talk about this later you'll be able to merge the two and find balance but what i found myself doing for a while there was a lot a lot a lot of thinking of talking about my business, which is which is a great strategy, but it has to be balanced with building your business. You can't talk about how to invest money if you have no money. You need to have clients come in. You need to have work that goes out. You need to have a referral program. You know, you need to have a systematized way on how you're out there getting clients. If you're just relying on word of mouth um, to get you clients, that might be a long and bumpy road. So. I, um, I, I definitely think that um, a lot of people will get into this niche, not not this niche, they'll get into this, this, this place of, well, I'm creating content, I'm content marketing. And I firmly believe in content marketing. I think it is a great strategy for some people, not for all businesses. It really does depend on the business that you're running, but you wanna make sure you don't get, that the content marketing isn't taking you over. Um, if you're spending, if you, let's say, let, find example, let's say you, you're you running a small business on your own and um, you have a 40 hour work week um, that you uh, that, that you can get for whatever reason, maybe personal reasons, whatever have you, you're, you're like, you can really only dedicate 40 hours to this personal business. If 15 to 20 of those hours is building content, you're leaving a lot on the table. You know what I'm saying? You need to find out, oh, you need to find a way where you can get the content marketing side of building up your business down to an hour to two hours out of like that chunk of 40 where you're spending the rest of the time building up your business. Now, what does building up your business look like if it's not content marketing? Like if you're not on social media, do you exist? Yes. 
And most likely, you might even be more profitable than people who are on social media spending all of their time. Because it's weird, because social media kind of creates an interesting dilemma. Like as someone who helps people build their brands on social media, you have to like tiptoe the line of it being a place that is real and a place of complete fiction. And you have to find the balance in between the two. If you spend all of your time on social media, that might work for your brand, maybe. It may not work for everyone's brand. And it's just like one of those things where so many people don't want to really take the time to see how to build out their brand properly, how to build out their business properly, and they just see other people doing stuff. Peter McKinnon is like huge on Instagram and, um, and, and YouTube. I need to follow his model to make my business successful because I wanna do what he's doing. Well, that's great, but like, you don't know, A, you don't know how much that's really bringing him in. Um, B, you don't know what it took to get to that level. You know, like you can't come into the game running at Olympian levels. You know, you still have to start with your first lap around the track. And C, it may not work for your particular business model on where you are. There are so many things that factor into whether, rather, 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 if your business can be successful, you know, you want to talk about your location. Um, you want to talk about what your product is. You know, you want to talk about your delivery systems. You know, you want to talk about your competition. Um, you know, how much time you have invested into it, how much money you have invested into it. All of these things factor together to give your business a very, very, very unique perspective on how to handle a company's, your customers' problems. And that's what being in business is. You are solving a problem that your customer has. You gotta find the best way to solve that for them. And I found myself definitely getting, create, spending more time thinking about creating content and planning to create even more content without actually focusing that energy on the business. So I felt like it was a really great time to like, pull back a little bit and really, really dive down on what I was offering to my clients. How could I improve that offer to my clients? And how can I get more clients to get this offer in front of? Those were the three things that I've been focusing on damn near religiously. And I think that my company's probably gonna be better for it in the long run. Okay, so now to get to my third and final point, which is, you know, the balance. And I mean, I've kind of been dancing with it because I kind of feel like this all kind of goes together, but is talking about your business bad? Absolutely not. Will talking about your business, will these type of things help the average business? These type of things, these podcasts, these videos, these blog posts, everything that you're doing, all this content marketing, will it help your business? Yes, yes it will in the long term as this build up, it will definitely impact your business if you're doing it right and if your business can survive. So like if I was to recommend a strategy for a business for their social content creation time spent versus work on business time, I can't do that for you because not every business would be exactly the same. You know, you would have to sit down with yourself and figure out what's most important for what you're trying to do. If you're an influencer and your whole game to getting income, if you were, if your business is influenced, your, your amount of time you're gonna be spending creating content on social media and just living that life is gonna be way higher than um, someone who is servicing lawn care companies and construction workers. Like your product, your deliverable, what you're delivering to the end of the day should really dictate how much time you're invested in creating this type of content versus working on your business. Now this video will probably go over some people's heads who um, don't necessarily need it. Um, but for people who are out there who are about to start, you know, their business and they're thinking, okay, I gotta be on this social media platform. I gotta be on that social media platform. I wanna be on YouTube. I wanna, be, I wanna do podcasts. I wanna do this, I wanna do that. And I really wanna blow my business up. Um, to that, I would just say, just pump the brakes for a second and really think about why you wanna be on all, on those specific social channels and how it benefits your company, how it benefits your business. And is that gonna be the best way to connect to your customers? 
That's the first thing you wanna ask yourself. The second thing you wanna ask yourself is how much time can you pay yourself to do that type of work? Like that's the way you really have to look at it because I think because as business owners, you may not be necessarily taking a salary currently, but your time is money, your time is valuable. So if you spend 10 hours, 20 hours on creating content, researching content, um, uploading all this content, if you're spending that much hours out of your like regular work week, out of like a 40 hour a week or something, just to make it relatable. If you're spending a quarter of your time creating content that, that goes up, um, that may not be the best use of your time for your business. You really have to sit down and assess that. What if you can get that quarter um, down to an hour or two of creating, you know, content or, you know, maybe you spend, um, you know, two to three hours one day a week and create enough content for 30 days for like the whole month. Like that would be a well, a worthwhile investment. You're still able to pump out that content. And at the same time, you're still able to build your business because talking about your business and creating all this content around your business doesn't mean Jack, if you no longer have a business to talk about because your business tanked, um, you got to protect your business. You got to put the work in any of your business. So sometimes it's good to get offline and just really focus on what's most important. And I think like, I don't know how many young entrepreneurs out there. When I say young, I'm not talking the age thing. I'm talking um, as far as like the age of your business it has nothing to do with, you know, who you are as a person. Really like sit down and think about how your business is going to be affected by the content that you're creating up and then allocate the proper time to maximize the profit from that and how much money you would be willing to spend to pay yourself to create that content. And that's what's most important. If content brings in hundreds of dollars to your bottom line, that's one thing. But if you're actually losing money creating stuff, you know, you might wanna find a way to do it faster so you can get back to the stuff that makes you money at the end of the day. So yeah, I just wanted to hop in here and uh, talk about that for a second. It is so good to be back i'm glad to see all of you i don't see anyone i'm just staring at my camera but it's cool like i shaved a little bit i always feel like i shave it a little bit too close and i kind of have like you know i feel like i look like a milk dud with dreads but i am so happy to be talking again and to just to report like you know things are going well, you know, things are going well. It's always good to get back on track and to get focused on the things that are important. And you never know when that well of a deal is around the corner. And your boy, he called himself a well and it feels good. All right, so um, yeah, I'll probably be back again with a new episode next week. Um, I am trying to um, batch these a little bit, but if you don't hear from me for a while, just know that um, some things have come up, you know, at the end of the day, the entrepreneur shot, the entrepreneurial life is, is really all about balancing. And, you know, um, I still have a regular life, you know, little baby river is getting so much bigger. Um, my wife is just as lovely as ever. You know, my dog is running around driving me insane. And in the meantime, in between time, I'm building this business uh, in the comfort of my home studio and uh, dreaming of millions. So until next time, peace.